What's up, what's up everybody? Sean in HDTV, and you see where I'm at, live in Harlem, and uh, today I am hitting 135th Street, and on my way to my destination, as you see, this is uh, legendary Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Projects here, right here. How you doing, officers? How you doing? Hey, what's up, man? All right, keeping the neighborhood safe. Hopefully, uh, the defund me stuff, they start refunding stuff. I think they are. But we here, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a videographer doing a little, you know, YouTube, got a YouTube page. Yeah, I'm just showing people outside of New York certain neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's not all bad. Huh? It's not all bad. It's not all bad. <laughs> he said it's not all bad. No, there's some bad spots. Not, I mean, it's not summertime yet. Well, that's the key. You yeah. Like yeah. Really but but it's been hell. It's been hell, and it's been a lot of violence, yes, it has. and it's been a lot of nonsense going on because of the politics, right? Right. Right. You mean locally? Yeah, local. Yeah. Right. But anyway, we are we are tell them we are Lincoln. These are Lincoln projects, right? And you saying so far. It's not. It's been calm. So far, but you know, it's, it's not summer yet. Like you said. It's not summer yet. So in the summertime, it picks up. Yeah, absolutely. We all know that. All right, we gonna we gonna keep it moving. Th thank you. All right, later, guys. Keep the streets safe. You know, keep the babies safe. Make sure they go home from school safe. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Later. All right. So this area, man, he's right. In the summertime, it gets crazy. So. We here, man. This is, by the way, everybody, this is the home of Baby Maine. This is the home of Baby Maine. Some people call him Baby J. This is the legendary Lincoln Projects right here. Some people call it Stinking Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, a lot of stuff went down in here. There's stuff on YouTube. You can, you can see, Dill, get him back of me. So you won't you won't you won't, you won't be my shot, right? So here we go. Welcome to Lincoln Houses. So as as we proceed now, over there used to be a lot of stores, a lot of the bodegas, clothing stores, liquor store type of stores. But this is why we're here because the people that own this these buildings right here, this property, they're doing something very very dirty and grimy. And that's why I am filming today. But unbeknownst to you guys, Lincoln Projects, aka Stinking Lincoln, the home of Baby Maine. Who is Baby Maine? Okay, Baby Maine or Baby J is the guy that allegedly ran Mace out of Harlem, right? Because of that beef with Pop Lottie and stuff like that. You guys could go on YouTube and see all these stories, by the way. Who broke it down real good? is a lady named miss t she broke it down real 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 good but you know just that's a little snippet and that beef because mace did a song you know kind of disrespecting baby j a little bit about his baby mom because mace used to date his baby moms you know what i'm saying so look we are here okay and that's where they get the name lincoln from abraham lincoln housing some people call it nitra for short you know what I'm saying? And yes, we as we keep it moving, you know what I mean? And like I said, we really here because of those buildings. The people that own these properties right here, you know, is why I'm here because they doing something real bad that's I don't like, man. The topic, the centerpiece of this video will be up shortly. Stay tuned. But for your entertainment, as I was walking past lincoln projects man last time the most horrific thing i seen in there was a body hung man butt naked man in the pit bull biting at the body in lincoln man so there's a lot of history in lincoln i believe mendezes uh from love and hip-hop his family lived there too and um yeah this is baby main legendary baby main street guy and he lived up to that you know he was definitely a street dude in these harlem streets getting it in man acura legends different color man Going up Madison Ave, man, Benz and Beamers and all that, bikes and everything. It was like a moment of seeing the Alpo era relived all over again. No lie. 
But yeah, man, Sean and HD TV for your entertainment. But we're going to get to the topic soon. But this is Baby Main. You already know why you left Harlem. R.I.P. Baby Main. That's why you left Harlem. You ran up out of there, Beffa. You ask him about that, Miss Jones. Yeah, you know, that whole situation could have been resolved, according to numerous people. You know, I was a youngin' at the time. R.I.P. also Baby Madison, who got shot on, on Madison Ave, too. And all the fallen rappers and all the fallen people in the streets, R.I.P. to them. But definitely, Baby Main was out there. He had a situation with Mace. And it could have been resolved. I I'm, I could do a whole nother video. If you guys want me to do a video on Baby Main, and we will go to Lincoln Projects as well, let me know. Put a number one in the comment section. You know what I mean? We got cash to show, man. They got cards. We got credit cards, too. You know what I mean? Platinum Discovery card, you know? I got it. You know what I mean? I got that, too. I want niggas money that got deals, B. Record deals and all that. Niggas mad because it was my turn. And you know what I mean? We do set trends in somewhat. Pretty trends. We, we are Harlem. We are Harlem. You know what I mean? After, after me, it's going to be someone else to take over Harlem. So, yeah, baby, man. Was very aggressive in his personality, um, a, a street dude, street kid I should say, he was a young man. He was out here getting money and moving around in these Harlem streets. You know, it is what it is. Well, I see they fix up the ballpark. This is Lincoln's basketball court. And look, to my surprise, there's actually kids outside playing outside. There's actually kids playing outside, y'all. This is what I like to see. Now. It would be better, if, too, if I see some females, some young girls double, doing double dutch, some young girls doing hopscotch. That'd be good. Remember that? Do girls even jump rope anymore? Like, yeah, which, you know, the basketball thing. And we here. There goes the Chase Bank. That Chase Bank been here for years. Over there by the bus stop. Let me zoom in a little. That used to be like a Goodwill store. You can get, um you know discount clothing now look these are the guys lennox terrace you got some condominiums here lennox terrace now it's very different from the projects even though it's across the street look look they got trees look at the gardening you know what i'm saying very different very much more cleaner more a little bit more luxurious lennox terrace a lot of doctors and a lot of mta workers a lot of those people live there. And if you was a youth back in the days, man, you know about the Kennedy Center. You know, this place gave us something to do. You know, a lot of basketball tournaments was held right here. The Kennedy Center. And it's in between the property of the Lennox Terrace property right here. Now... I'm showing y'all history right now, Harlem history, that these dudes not going to show you because they think it's too corny. But let me tell y'all something. This is a landmark. The Kennedy Center took a lot of us off the street that wanted to do good. We had somewhere to go right here. We wasn't selling drugs. We wasn't robbing and stealing right here. All right. This is why we here, y'all. I want y'all to see what they're doing in Harlem. They've been doing this for years. This used to be Pan Pan. It used to be a diner. You know, at, back back you know back in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? I just want everybody to know this is legendary footage. You are watching legendary footage. This is a moment in time. This is the last golden era of Harlem. Okay? Alicia Keys walking in Pan Pan's doing her video how incredible is this footage how legendary is this before these people burn down this place for their agenda for their agenda look at this right here man most deaf alicia keys in harlem legendary place pan pan talk about it these dudes is not going to show you this because they think it's corny. There's no violence. There's no gang, gang, bang, bang, shoot them up. HD is taking you to places beyond what you guys would think about. Now, Alicia Keys did a video right here in Pan Pants. It was called uh, You Don't Know My Name video. And 
what the people in Lenox, look at the buildings, what they're doing, the people that own this property, what they're doing is burn, purposely burning down the stores, right? Burning the stores down meticulously. So over the years, so it won't look suspicious, right? So first they burn down Pan Pan. Then they burn these stores down. They set them on fire. They burn these down, right? And this is what these white folks do in power. They, they do this to erase our landmarks, our history. So they burn right down these Harlem. rows of stores here, right? And now look, cause they slick. They want to remove so they can put new property, new more condominiums there because the white folks are moving in and Asian folks and middle-class folks with money, black folks with money, uh, middle-class money is moving in. So they want this all gone. So this is an old trick that these Jewish landlords used to do is burn the property down for the insurance money or if you don't want to leave, oh, we gonna burn it down. And look, that's exactly what they doing. So these just burned down Sunday. This Sunday, these went down right here. I want y'all to know this is not one time all these stores burned down. Pan Pan burned first. Then the other stores burn second. Now, Live and direct showing this right TV here. showing you the evidence. What they doing in Harlem. They burning down old Harlem to build new on top of it, erasing the history. This these stores are historical. They've been here a lot of stories with these stores. And they getting rid of the old something like what Nero did in Italy. If you know about Nero, the Nero the Roman Empire burnt down hit some of the parts of the city purposely to build a new so that's what we're going to talk about right now and i'm showing you what these people are doing the people that own these properties right here and as a matter of fact if you watch king of harlem king of harlem i believe this is the building that the real bumpy johnson lived in right here okay lennox terrace the real bumpy johnson lived in this building right here you know what I'm saying? So, these are the guys that own this property, and this is what they're doing. And it's it's not a old, it's not new. They've been doing it. They want to erase the old um, Noha, Noha, north of Harlem, Soha, south of Harlem, west of Harlem, east of Harlem. You know that's what Europeans do. They come conquer and then change the names so that you can't remember the past. But. There's still stores that's still here, like the other side and down the block. The McDonald's is still there. The church is still there on the corner and so forth. Sean and HD TV, just a little quick tour through Harlem. You know, showing y'all a little history that some of these dudes are not going to show you because to, to those dudes, it's not popular. It's corny. So, yeah, we on 133rd, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sean and HD TV. Stay tuned.